So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you the river water level analysis using uh, surface water and ocean topography data in Google Earth Engine. So now let's get started. So the river water level monitoring is a vital for hydrological research, flood prediction and uh, water resource management. The surface water and ocean topography mission provides a comprehensive data on the global water uh, bodies, including rivers. This study uses uh, SWAT derived nodes and reaches data sets uh, within a study area to analyze the river water level. So this particular data set which includes the nodes uh, representing a point measurement along the rivers and reaches which represents the river segment between the nodes are utilized. So these nodes and reaches are spatially filtered to intersect with the study area enhancing the analysis uh, analysis relevance. The nodes are uh, visualized, uh, we're gonna visualize the nodes in blue and the reaches in red. And last, we're gonna export this data to our uh, to our Google Drive and uh, we're gonna visualize it in, in RGIS Pro. So now let's get started. So first and foremost, uh, we're gonna define our region of interest. So uh, to define a region of interest, uh, we're gonna navigate this particular option called draw a rectangle. So you can draw a, a rectangle or the study area of your choice, for example, I've defined this particular area as my study region. So you can able to visualize here. So you can able to visualize there is a river path. So you can uh, able to observe that. So I've defined my study area over this particular river here. You can able to visualize it. So it is simple to create this particular study region. So we're gonna navigate this option, click draw a rectangle and just draw a rectangle over it. So once you did that, uh, we have this in the top section. We have this import section here. In that we're gonna click this option called show generated codes. So in this code, uh, you can able to see we have our latitude and longitude of the study region. So I'm gonna copy this latitude and longitude and I'm gonna paste it here in my variable called study area coordinates. So which contains the latitude and longitude of this particular study regions. So once you've uh, pasted your coordinates, uh, we are ready to create uh, geometry objects uh, from the study for the study area. So to do that, we're gonna define a variable called study area equals to earth engine dot geometry dot polygon and study area coordinate, which referring to the variable, which containing the latitude and longitude of our study region. So to add this layer, we define the map dot add layer study area. And to center this object, we define map dot center object study area with specific uh, zoom level. So next, uh, we're gonna load our, uh, we're gonna load our surface water and ocean topographic data set. So let me explain about this particular data set. So this particular data set is available in awesome GE community catalog. So I will uh, give the link in the description in our video for this particular data. So this particular data is the surface water and ocean topography satellite mission, which was launched in December 22, has revolutionized our ability to observe the river by providing vast details of surface water, the data sets of uh, river water surface elevation width, and the slope measurement. So to maximize the utility and flexibility of this data, the surface water and ocean topography mission delivers a variety of data products, including a river vector data in shapefile format for each uh, the SWAT overpass. These vector provides and offers an immense potential for multi-temporal analysis of the river system and allowing the researchers to track the changes in river characteristics over time. So you can go through the details about this particular data here. So here you can you can also visualize what are the different informations that is available in this particular data set. So I'm gonna expand to show the node attribute description here. I'm gonna click this. So here you can able to visualize the different informations that is available in this particular data set of node attribute description here. So for example, average uh, width of the node, so which will be given in the meters. And uh, you can go through the different types of data. For example, uh, in the this particular attribute called type, so the node type identifier, so one which represents a river, the three which represents lake on river, four represents dam or the water well, and five represents the unreliable topology. And uh, so you can also visualize the characteristics of this uh, particular river, for example, sinuosity, the ratio of the total uh, reach length to the straight line distance between the reach endpoints, indicating which indicates the degree of uh, meandering and similarly, I'm going to expand this to uh, the reach attribute description. So I'm going to open this reach attribute. You're going to click this. So we can also visualize the different uh, types of data that is available here. 
So uh, WSC, which represents the average uh, water surface elevation of the reach in meters and the average width of the reach which is given in the meter and further here the obstruct type here which really represents the type of obstruction for example 0 which represents no dam and 1 which represents dam and uh, 2 which represents the lock and 3 represents the low permeable dams and 4 represents the waterfall so likewise uh, different types of data will be given here for example slope the average slope of reach calculated along high resolution center line points and also the river name is mentioned and uh, and maximum flow accumulation value for the reach that is for the river and there is a lot of different data sets that are available but we're going to specifically focus on the river water level for example so average uh, what is uh, water surface elevation of the reach so this particular data set uh, can provide us the river water level so which can be used for a variety of different analysis which is given in meters and also uh, we have this different information uh, like latitude, longitude and physical characteristics like surface water elevation, width, slope, flow accumulation and number of channel and obstruction types. So you can go through this data. I will give the uh, link for this particular data set in the description of this video. So now to access this particular data set. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go down here so you can able to visualize. So I'm going to copy this code and paste it in my uh, Earth Engine. Uh, platform to access this particular uh, data set here so you can just copy this code and paste it in your earth engine so I'm going to uh, navigate to my earth engine so uh, to load our uh, surface water uh, ocean topography data set uh, first we're going to define this variable called this what nodes equals to earth engine dot feature collection and we're going to paste the code here and similarly the spot reaches so we're going to mention uh, paste the code here So here you can be able to view that uh, nodes were merged here and also the reaches. So this particular data set is available for the global level. So you can uh, get this particular data set for any part of the world. So this particular data set that allows you to get a lot of information about the river greater than the 30 meters. 30 meter width uh, that is very useful for the hydrological analysis. So next uh, we're going to apply the filter. So uh, we're going to filter based on our study region. So to filter the nodes and reaches uh, based on our study region. So I'm going to define this variable called filter nodes equals to SWOT nodes dot filter bounds. Uh, we're going to apply the filter bound function and based on our study region. So this is our study region. And uh, next I'm going to define another variable to filter out our reaches data set. So for, to do that we define this variable called filtered reaches equals to SWOT reaches dot filter bound study region. So now uh, we have managed to filter based on our study region for our nodes and uh, reaches data set. So next to visualize this particular data set. So now to visualize this particular uh, data set uh, we are for particularly to add the node uh, a blue color to the map. Uh, so we're going to visualize the node in blue. So to do that we define the map dot add layer filtered nodes. So referring to this particular variable and uh, based on the visualization parameter. So we're going to mention the color. So we're going to mention this uh, blue for nodes, SWOT nodes and uh, similarly to add reaches to the red color to this uh, reaches. So we're going to define map.add layer filtered uh, reaches referring to this particular variable and we're going to add the visualization parameter. So I have uh, added uh, the red color to reaches and output as a reaches. So now uh, we're going to export this particular data set here. So to export the filtered nodes to a Google Drive, uh, for example, in shapefile format. So we're going to mention as export.table dot to drive. And uh, in the collection, I'm going to mention the filtered nodes referring to this variable here. And the description I'm going to mention as filtered DOS, the filtered SWOT nodes and uh, the folder. I'm going to specify the SWOT analysis and the shapefile, the file format will be the shapefile. And similarly, to export the filtered reaches to a Google Drive, I'm going to mention the similar steps. I'm going to mention the export.table dot to drive in collection filtered reaches and description folder and the file format is shapefile. So now we're going to navigate to this option called run script and click run script to visualize this, the result of our analysis. So let me zoom into my study region. So I'm going to turn off this uh, layer here. I'm going to navigate to the layer section. So this is of a study region. So 
So we're gonna turn this off. Reaches. We're gonna focus on nodes here first. Let me turn this off. So now we can able to clearly visualize our result, and also you can uh, able to visualize the reaches here. So now here you can able to visualize the result. So we have both of us uh, reaches and node here. So uh, you can uh, use your inspector tool to uh, inspect this particular data set for this specific study region we have selected. So I'm going to use my inspector tool here and I'm going to cl uh, click this uh, data points here. So you can able to visualize we have a nodes as well as a reach data set here. So I'm going to uh, place my inspector tool over this particular uh, node. So now we're going to visualize the details about this particular. So you can able to see here. So we have the nodes and reaches. So I'm going to click this down arrow button and we have a variety of different properties that is available in the specific nodes here. I'm going to click this option called properties. So in the property section, uh, you can able to visualize we have different uh, metadata information about the specific uh, river. So for example, the river reach ID, river name and, uh, and the sinuosity and the width of the river and also the the water surface elevation of this particular uh, river so you can able to see that and also the latitude and longitude of this specific uh, river and uh, similarly the reach uh, we're gonna pro it's gonna provide us this following data set here so we're gonna click this features and uh, in the property section we have around 29 different property of this uh, specific data set so we have a flow accumulation uh, data here and uh, the abstract uh, abstract type so we have previously discussed in the start of this video the different uh, obstacles uh, in the which is uh, during the course of the river we can be which can be found for example dam so uh, the abstract uh, type zero which represents uh, so here in the expand to show the reach attributes uh, here you can able to visualize here the abstract type zero which represents no dam one represents dam so likewise uh, the three represents the low permeable dam and four represents the waterfall so likewise the different data sets have been available and also the width uh, it's given here and uh, the surface uh, water surface uh, elevation is also provided in this data set along with the latitude and longitude information so the here you can able to visualize here so we have both the nodes as well as the reach data set so reach is kind of represented in the like of a polyline and the nodes is represented as a point data here so now to export this particular data set to your Google Drive, we're going to navigate this option called task section here. And there is an uh, unsubmitted task called uh, filtered nodes and filtered reaches. So to export this particular data set to your drive, we're going to click this option called run. So now the window pop up saying initiate in a table export. So you can export this particular data set to your drive, cloud storage and earth engine assets or feature view asset. So it's your choice. So for we're going to upload to our, to our drive. So to do that, we define the folder name and file name and shape file format. And to export this, we're going to click this option called run. So we have this uh, uh, submitted task uh, here. Similar, we have this one more, one more task that is a reaches. We're going to export this reaches data set to a Google Drive. So we're going to cl click this option called run. Similarly, similar to the first one I've explained this. So it is in shapefile format. To export this, we're going to click this option called run. So we have this uh, submitted task. So it's going to export the reach and the nodes data set to a Google Drive. So now here you can able to visualize. We have managed to export our reach and uh, nodes data set to a Google Drive. So now to download this, uh, I'm going to click this arrow button here. And I'm going to click this option called open and drive. So once you did that, we're going to visualize this particular uh, window here. So you can able to visualize if, uh, we have exported all the nodes and reaches data set in the shapefile format and we're going to download all this together and uh, we're going to open this in RGIS Pro and visualize the result of our river water level for our specific study region. So I'm going to download this. So to download this, I'm going to click this option called download. Or I can use this three button option here. I'm going to click this and click download. So it's going to uh, download our uh, data. Similarly, I'm going to download all this data. So navigate the folder location where you could like to save this data set here. And similarly, I'm going to download all this data. So now I have downloaded both the nodes and reaches uh, shapefile. I have downloaded all these uh, files here. 
let me show you that so I've downloaded all the nodes and reaches files you can able to see that so now we're gonna visualize this nodes and reaches uh, data in RGIS Pro so I have opened my RGIS Pro so now uh, to add those layer into RGIS Pro I gotta navigate this option called map section and I gonna click this option called add data and I gonna click this option called add a data to the map so now navigate to the folder location where you saved your uh, notes and reaches shapefile so I'm gonna select uh, the notes and uh, reaches shapefile here so I've selected it and I'm gonna click OK so now you can be able to visualize it added our notes and uh, reaches shapefile so the notes are represented as a point data and the reaches which is represented as a polyline data you can be able to see that so I'm gonna zoom in here so you can be able to visualize it let me turn off this uh, node uh, shape file and also you can go through the information about this particular uh, nodes data I'm gonna right click and uh, click this option called attribute table so here you can able to visualize the different information about this particular shape file for example the name of the river and uh, water surface elevation and uh, meandering uh, meandering and uh, the obstacle type and the width of the river which is given here and the latitude and longitude the x and y similarly for the reach data you can able to visualize the details I'm gonna right click on the reach data and I'm gonna click this option called attribute table so here you can able to visualize a different set of informations so for example the obstacle type and uh, we have this uh, flow accumulation and width and x and y data that is x and y coordinates so uh, in this video I have shown you the river water level analysis using SWOT data in Google Earth Engine and we visualized it in RGIS Pro so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like